So, first of all, I would like to give my respect to all of you here. And my name is Mr. Lai Chun, the president of Humanity Organization for Development. I am very honored to present or to discuss about my topic. And I'm going to talk about the education challenges, you know, in the 21st centuries. You might wonder what I am going to present, you know, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So why we have to talk about education? Education, you know, is the big issue in the world so far. And in the world right now, it creates the global crisis. You might wonder, what is global crisis? So, the global crisis happened by reason, not by happened by itself. As we know that, if you give people fish, they will eat fish for, the rest, for one day. But if you teach them how to catch fish, they will eat fish for the rest of their life. This is the mindset of the previous educator in the world. And according to the scientists said, in 10 years, the particular fish we eat every day, in the river, in the sea, in the ocean, will be disappeared. So if we still teach our students, like the mindset of the previous educator, the global will disappear too, and will cause a big problem. Albert Einstein also said, the significance of the problem we face today cannot be shown at the same level of thinking with which we create them. So, in the modern technologies, in the modern education, we cannot teach our students how to catch fish anymore. We have to let them to change the way they think the way they lead the world by themselves. So what are the problems? If they use the same thinking like the previous educator, like the mindset, the global will, you know, will, it cause the global crisis. And you can see, what are the global crises that we face so far? One, conflict and terrorism. That you can see on newspaper, you can see on TV, everything happened because of that. Two, crime. Three, ecological crisis. And all the three points, they can cause the poverty. Now let's go one by one. You see, terrorism. There's also happened around the world. You can see, the Austrian embassy also destroyed. Before we see old people stay in prison, but now we see a lot of Jews in prison. Young people, teenagers, become the prisoners. This is the main thing that we can't believe in that with the education so far. Corruption. Because of the corruption, they can make people cut the forest illegally, child abuse, abuse kidnapping, and hunt vice animals for skin. That's the current education to people how to do that. That also costs Race discrimination. Before, in Cambodia, in Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, there is no such a thing happen. But now you can see nearly everywhere. In December 23rd, in 2009, Thai food, Kesuna, also badly affected Siem Reap and Kampong Thom province. In Cambodia, everywhere was flooded. You can see the sign now, the significant of the global crisis now. Poverty, all of that, the global crisis, all of the ecological crisis, it can cause the poverty. And the reason, it left only. It makes the young people now become hopeless. They take drugs. Because what? Because of the global crisis that we face so far. We don't have any solution to show that. You know, in UK, when the economy go down, 
Unemployment is high. The youth just destroy the smugs and shop to get what they want. So this is the educate currently teach them. On top of that is the population, you know, explosion. The more people are, the increase more. We, we can say when people are increasing, the population increasing, more challenge will happen. What happened? When more people come, and how can you do that to work to solve the problem in the world? There will be a, also a big crisis too. So now we have to stop all the all the crisis. But everyone might wonder how can we stop this kind of problem, and what kinds of the problem they cause? The global crisis caused by two points. One, by incomplete education. I don't mean our education system now is bad. It's good. They can make people be able to create modern technologies. They can enable people to go, you know, send people to the moon and come back safely. But our education system so far cannot show domestic violence, cannot show the bullying in school. And that's the can cause of lack of affective leadership. When lack of affective leadership, of course, you can see the world now, it's lack of affective leaders. It lack of affective parents. It lack of affective teachers in the world. Most major problems we face today are caused by fragmented, narrow, and short-term thinking. If we teach people to think, their children, their grandchildren can eat fish for the rest of their life. So in, you know, for the education challenges in the 21st centuries, we have to teach our students how to think, not to catch fish anymore. Not to catch fish anymore. Otherwise, the world will be going down. And I strongly believe that the primary role or the primary objective of education is to create leaders, not to teach the student how to pass the exam. There should be the education challenges in the 21st century that we have to do now, is to teach our students to become leaders so that they can solve the problem in the world. Lao Tzu said, the highest leader follow the natural law. The next best, the wise, the lowest leave things to their ministers. So everyone might wonder, what is our solution to show all the global crisis? You see lots of people discussing, but seem no any solution. But solution now. Let me tell you, what is the global crisis come from? And what is the solution? The solution, we have to base on the natural law. Or we can call the law of universal governance. What is the natural law? The natural law contains five laws. One, change. Two, differentiation. Three, unity. Four, circulation. And five, expansion. You might wonder, but let me go one by one. Now we go to change. You can observe everything around you. It always changes from day to day, from time to time. Thousand years ago, people live in trap. The leader tells us we have to live with one vision, with one idea, only with one belief. They do that in order to not to break the trap. But now, it moved to the national. We have different people, we have di different beliefs, we have different religions, we have different values. But that's not enough. In the modern education, we have to teach our students to adapt to the global, teach our students to respect different religions, to teach our students in the world to respect different values, to live with the world, not only in one community. However, we have to teach our students to know the natural law is the differentiation. You see, the flowers 
are also different. Even human also have different faces. This is the nature. This is the law of the nature. So we have to teach our students learn different things. You know why? We have the real things that happen in Cambodia. Everyone knows very clear. It's Mr. Purple. He doesn't obey the natural law. He doesn't accept the differentiation. He wants all people in the country to be farmers. Only farmers. And then what happened? We don't want the same thing happen again. We don't want our next generation to become such a leaders like this. So we have to teach our students so far to learn the natural law. Unity. However, different things we have to combine together. Everything has to work together. You see, hydrogen and oxygen, when it combines together, it produces life. Sorry, it produces water. And water creates life. We have to work together. We have to work together. Even religions, we have to work together. Even the nation, we are also to work together. Even though it is not perfect, but it's much better for our nation now. We have to do that. We have to teach our students currently about it. One more sad explanation. So when the differenti when change, differentiation, unity come together, it also have a big problem. What's the big problem? You see? This is why. Differentiation and unity combined together. You know what happened? It's always conflict. But you have to understand the purpose of conflict. Conflict is not always bad. You see, the two male tigers have conflict over one female tiger. <laughs> to get, you know, the winner, the stronger, they can produce the strong baby. This is the nature, the law. However, we, today, we have to treat our students in the world about the conflict. Conflict is not the context. And we have to teach them the purpose of the contest is to determine a winner. And we have to teach them the purpose of the conflict is to strengthen the system, not to destroy. It's to strengthen the system. You see, however, conflicts must be managed. Otherwise, it will be destructive. So we have set regulation. And set regulation contains also three points. We have to teach our students so far in the world to have self-actualization with the emotion. The emotion teach them how to be honest to themselves. So, so have to, we have to teach them how to have good relationship with other people from countries to another country, from one region to another region. And we also have to teach our students the emotion, sorry, the self-actualization about ecological, about the accountability, how to show the problem how to manage the problem, how to manage the conflict, how to show the conflict. And we also have to teach them how to nurture the earth and protect the earth. However, the last law of the nature is expansion. What do you mean by expansion? You see this kind of birds. If they don't produce babies in soft futures, there will be no such a birth anymore. It is like we are now. We have to teach our students to become leaders. So that when they become the effective leaders for the world, they can also create other effective leaders for the world too. So that we are striving for peace through the education. Thomas Berry said, of human institution must be judged primarily by the extent to which they prevent, ignore, or promote the mutually enhancing human as relationship. What are the human institution? Here you can see religion, government, development agencies like ADB, like World Bank, something like that, commerce, and education. All the human institution must be changed. As again, if we are not part of the solution, then we must be part of the problem. If our education system 
in the world so far fail to be part of the solution, then it teaches the problem. Thank you very much.